Hey, I've got an idea. Let's get out in the great outdoors. Here we are again at Blanford Nature Center, and I'm ready for an e-lab extravaganza. Let's take a hike and see what we can find. Hello, first graders. Remember we looked at insects and then we compared them. We looked at parts of an insect and compared them to other invertebrates. Well, I know a lot of people didn't really know about the millipede. That was the animal that had many, many legs and it was kind of long. So I'm going to look underneath some of these logs and I'm going to see what kind of invertebrates we can find together during e-lab, during our e-lab exploration. I'm out here in the forest of Blandford looking for invertebrates and evidence of invertebrates. Come with me, let's take a look under here. Many invertebrates live under logs because they get dried out in the sun or they like the darkness. It's a place where they can find food, water, and shelter. So let me roll this log over. Hey, be careful if you try this yourself. Sometimes there could be things like wasps or even snakes under logs. So let me try this one and see what's under here. Whoa, whoa, look at all the little tiny ants. Wow, there are so many ants. Ants have three body parts and six legs. They are insects. I wonder what other invertebrates we'll find besides ants. Look at the three body parts and they have six legs. Wow, there's eggs there too. Ants and eggs, amazing. I'm gonna put it back. I wanna give them their home back. If you roll logs over, put it back when you're done. Awesome, ants. Hey, under this log, I found a worm. Let's take a look at this worm. Does this worm have six legs? <laughs> no, it has no legs. Does it have three body parts? Not really, it just has one. A worm, a worm is an invertebrate, but not an insect. It has no legs and it's kind of slimy. I'm going to put it back in its home now. Wow, we found a worm and the worm is living, you know, with a bunch of ants. There are ants there living with the worm under this log. Many invertebrates live under logs. Oh, crush, hope not. What do we have here? I rolled over this log and I found just what I was looking for. Do you see it? Look at this. This is an invertebrate that has little segments to its body. It's hard. It has a hard exoskeleton. This little invertebrate has many, many, many legs. Now we'll keep watching it and see if it uncurls and it starts to move. This is a millipede. It's an invertebrate that is not an insect. We'll take a look at him in a little while when he starts to move. Wow, I'm glad we found one. Now here's the millipede moving. It has many, many legs. Can you see all of those legs? It's kind of hard. It has two antenna and a long body. This is a millipede, not an insect, but an invertebrate. Hey friends, Check out this beetle we found under a log. This beetle has six legs and three body parts. So it is an insect, you guessed it. It's a beetle and it lives underneath logs quite often. Wow, we found this beetle. There it goes, right off the stump. We found that beetle under a log. Have you ever seen these animals? They're invertebrates called sow bugs. Some people call them roly polies. They have way more than six legs and they have a hard exoskeleton. They are not insects. It's called a sow bug. Wow, there are many of them here. Let's take a closer look. Hello, sow bugs. It's hard to see, but if you can see that sow bug, you can see underneath it has many more than six legs. Sow bugs are invertebrates and they have about 14 different legs. They're also called wood lice and isopods. Look at that, there it goes. With all those legs, it can move quickly. Sow bugs move quickly because they have so many legs. Wow, that was awesome. Wow, first graders, wow. I can't believe all the animals that live under logs. They're invertebrates. They have no backbone. 
Some were insects and some were not. Can you think about the ones that were insects and the ones that were not? Hmm, maybe we'll take a look at that again. Remember, we saw earthworms, ants, sow bugs, we saw a beetle, and a millipede. We saw a lot of cool invertebrates that live under logs.